My home is this really small town in near the west coast in India. I saw the Falmouth website, I saw the prospectus, I saw the coast structure, I thought it was fantastic. I came here all the way from Tallinn, Estonia, and I had never been to England before. So this was like a whole new sort of experience and I'm, I'm really happy I chose Falmouth and yeah, I love the place. <laughs> They're one of the best film schools in the country. Um, I get on with all of the lectures, I get on with everyone on my course. I just sort of feel at home. They're all really friendly and great and super useful. A lot of them have worked in industry or still are working in the industry. So if I had any questions about, you know, jobs or anything, they're great people to go to for connections and everyone is always happy to have a chat with you. They really, really care about you and they want you to do well and they will like do whatever they can to make sure that you do well not just at university, but after you graduate as well. The film course run a film festival trip to Berlin every year. It's an amazing trip. I, I think it's four, four or five days. Um, we also do some trips to film sets. So um, Mark Jenking, he directed Bait, which won the BAFTA. We did some trips to his set. Some really, really amazing people came down to Falmouth, like Joe Binney, who worked with Lynn Ramsey on her films. Mark Leno, who worked with Tarantino on like Once Upon a Time for Hollywood and won an Oscar for Titanic, you know. And also because the university funds some feature films, so you actually get a chance to like get a feature credit, you know, and actually work on a feature film. The start of last month, uh, mid last month, I was able to go to NBC Universal, um, and then we're going back next month to pitch them some content. That is just an insane experience working with one of the biggest companies in the world. That's all off the back of the relationship that Falmouth have with them. We've got access to amazing equipment. You can take the kit out whenever you want, experiment with it. You really sort of forget that you're in a university at times. It really feels like you're in a professional sort of environment. It's like something I love about this uni as well, yeah. It's uh, resources. There's so many resources. For example, as your final project, you have a possibility of doing a narrative film, a documentary, uh, experimental, or some art piece. Um, so there's like, there's a lot of freedom in the sense of, yeah, you, you don't, you do, you come to study film, but you don't have to necessarily become a filmmaker. The other day we were messing around with a Super 8 camera, which was amazing. How often do you get to play around with like celluloid and get to hand develop film? There's so much collaboration. We've had um, fashion photography students helping out with um, costume design. If you need actors to act in your film, you can just go and ask some acting students, or like if you need some posters, you can ask a graphic designer, you know, so we do collaborate. A lot of people have done the study abroad course um, for a month or a year, whatever, and love it. I think that is an amazing thing that the, the uni offer. We are going to travel to India to work um, with trans people to document their experiences um, and how it has been how they have been affected by um, the new passing of a trans bill in India. And it's great that the university supports that and encourages us and is so helpful. It's fun. <laughs> it genuinely is really fun. Everyone always has a really good time. Your like, creativity isn't limited at all. There's never a moment that I'm bored, in all honesty, and it's just... There's so many opportunities that it gives you and you learn so many different things. I'm always like ranting about how much I love it. <laughs> so, yeah.